Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. We've got the uh, Diamond T in the shop doing a little more work on it. Trying to piece together uh, some sort of storyline. Uh, it turns out it's not a model 404, it's a model 509S. So this is the working man's truck. Uh, it has a gross vehicle weight of 14,700 pounds. So, uh, came with this chassis. Although not this exact chassis, I spoke to the previous owner and the cabin chassis, the cab itself is from a different chassis and they've been recently mated together. And that explains why the wiring harnesses are all cut. I mean, it did look like somebody spent some time to wrap those harnesses and paint the frame and do the rims and all this other stuff. Looks like, a, oh, a new fuel pump. Ha! Huh. What do you find when you start looking? Jeez. Okay. So here's a... Uh, ah. There's the other end to the, uh, the fuel line. They just chopped the mechanical fuel pump and hooked up an electric one. <clears throat> well, there you have it. So... Some sort of haywireness was going on there. Anyway. Um... So I spoke to him and got some history on this. Um, these two cabs were uh, something he had bought <clears throat> and wanted to make a project of it. And uh, for whatever reason, he saw I'll get some further details on it once I uh, speak with the previous owner. I'm going to go see him today and get some paperwork for this. But anyway, for now, I think what I'm going to do is take the clip off and the cab off and put it on a pallet and then put the Peterbilt down on this and put it outside for storage and then uh, put the this cab here this rusty one and the Peterbilt cab out for storage and then it's not stuck in my shop and I don't have to be lifting it in and out to, to use the shop. So the plan for this long-term plan is to find a modern rolling chassis for it something with uh, a high gross uh, weight like an F550. Well guys, I finally found an F550. 2008, 6.4 liter. It's gonna be the donor for the uh, Diamond T. I'll take that off. I'm the proud owner. <laughs> Look at this fin here. Uh, it's an Okanagan truck. That's uh, no no rust on it. That's really nice. So anyway, thanks for checking in and uh, to be continued. Put some big 22 inch rims on it. The cab starting to cobble together some pieces. Been searching around on the internet for headliner bits and uh, just pictures of things so I can fabricate them and start to uh, get a mental picture of what this thing's going to look like. I sort of have an idea in my mind. Some guys have suggested to restore the thing original. And that is an option using this cab here. But for now, I'm going to make it into a diamond T on a modern chassis. <laughs> 